Dear Maggie, I want you to know before I go on that you are not only my sister, but also one of my best friends. My fondest memories from growing up always either directly or indirectly involved you. Whether it was getting a water bottle thrown at us because we couldn't stop laughing in the car, or getting in trouble that one time at HEB. Only one time. I will always treasure the memories I have with you. I am so gl glad that I got the chance to eat lunch with you and your friends during high school, and I'm also glad that we got to live together here in Austin for three years. It makes me sad that we are not going to be living together anymore. You're a very special person. You deserve the absolute best in every way. Now on to the reason you are here. I have struggled with something for a very long time. I thought it might just be a phase, but it wasn't. I just want you to know that I'm gay. The reason I had to tell you in a letter instead of just to your face is that I couldn't bring myself to do it. I couldn't disappoint the person who I have probably spent more time with than anyone else on this planet or otherwise. Just so you know, I am much happier since I have accepted this fact. I wasn't sad before, but I'm just happier now. So other than the whole gay thing, here is something information, some more information that you don't know. I came out to myself on April 14, 2015. If you remember that day, I was going to do plyometrics downstairs at 3 a.m. Because I was very much out of shape at the time, I had to rest a lot. During those rests, I would get on Tinder. I had been looking at guys on there for a couple of days, but had never matched with anyone. I thought no one would know if I didn't match. Then one time that morning it happened. I matched with a guy, and that was the point when I officially came out to myself. I'm gay. I know it sounds stupid, but that's how it happened. Two days later, I talked to Brittany on the phone. It was really difficult. I was trembling, but I told her and I felt so much better afterwards. Then, not too long after that, I went home by myself and told mom and dad. They had more of a mixed reaction than Brittany, but overall were supportive. On that same note, every thought you might have about me being gay right now, or even in the future, I have already thought. And also mom has asked me, of course. I remember back in high school was the first time I had ever had a crush on a guy, or maybe a couple of guys. I never thought I was gay because of it. I thought that it was normal to have those thoughts and I could still be straight. I even convinced myself that I would never tell anyone how I felt about guys. I would take my secret to the grave. Now some more things you might not have known about me. I have already had one official boyfriend. Remember when I went to go see Brittany in Houston? Well, I did see Brittany, but only for lunch. I then drove to College Station to meet a guy I have been talking to for a while and met through OkCupid. I learned a lot from him. He was my first kiss and what an amazing kiss it was. But unfortunately it did not work out. We are still friends though. Since I'm gay, I've gone through a lot to ultimately leading to the acceptance of who I am. And now that I know who I really am, I do not waver in my views just a bit in with whoever I may be talking to. I probably would stand up for not just myself, but all LGBT people who have gone through so much more crap than me. As for religious beliefs conflicting with sexuality, homosexuality has been known all throughout history. The word is, the word for is just not was not created until the 1800s. There were even sanctified gay marriage ceremonies back before the Dark Ages. Only after was it forbidden because that, the way it was translated from Latin to English. If any religious text is read from the time it is written, there are no negative ties to sexuality in any way. The only choice I've made is to be happy and proud of who I am. The choice you must make is, you, are you willing to stand by my side as my sister and support me, or abandon me and throw away over 20 years of memory together? In the Bible, there is a passage where someone asks Jesus, what is the most important commandment? Jesus replies to him that loving the Lord your God with all your heart is the most important, followed by loving your neighbor as yourself. If you read the entire passage or even the entire Bible, never will you find the phrase, love your neighbor, neighbor as yourself, unless they are gay, lesbian, transgender, etc. You must love everyone equally, which is difficult for anyone to do. I try to love everyone, even those who have brought me in the past. I wish that everyone could live that way, but unfortunately we're not lucky enough to live in a world like that.
After reading this, you must not know what to think. You may even want to call me. But I urge you to sit down for a little bit and watch some videos on YouTube about coming out or being gay. I'm not going to argue over if being gay is right or not because I've already made up my mind to come and come to peace with everything that I've come to peace with. I am gay. This is the way God made me. I don't know why he decided to make me this way, but he did. If you have a problem with the product, take it up with the manufacturer. <laughs> Do not call me, do not text me, and do not ruin my July 4th if you are going to be anything less than 100% supportive. The only reason I may want to hear from you is if you do support me completely. I will be home on late. I will be home late on Sunday. I hope you make the right choice. I want you to know that the only reason I'm crying is because you felt like you had to wait this long to tell me. I want you to know that I love you more than anybody. Like, nobody gets me like you do. <laughs> I'm really going to miss living with you next year. I love our talks and our crazy fun times that we've had since we were little. No matter what, I will always love you and support you. And I, I'm just sad that you ever felt like you maybe questioned that. Because you're my brother and even though we're three years apart, you know, I basically feel like you're my twin. So, I love you so much. And I'm glad that you finally told me.